Perfect timing. We're live, by the way. Hi! We're not live like that. We're pre-show live. Are we pre-show where they don't see us? Yes. Yeah, and we're saying stuff and they're us. wondering when the real live's coming? <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. Mark copy this them. is the part that Brian copied off me. Good job, Brian. Take it away. I never copied anything off you, Mark. <laughs> Hi, Amy Relish. Hello, Mike. Buenos dias. <sighs> Dude, I've been sipping on a 24-ounce coffee, and I'm feeling energized right now. Oh, yeah. This could be this could be trouble. This coffee's going down smooth. Mm. I've been sipping on a 40 of OE. Dude. I ate a bagel on Monday with chicken salad on it, and it tasted a little off, but I ate it anyway. And at like four o'clock in the morning, on not not the next day, but what did you do your keyboard? Did you eat that too? No, I ended Is that up like a, your drip tips you eat. <laughs> no, it, I overheated something and then it melted it. I was using the the air anyway. We got to start this show. There's a lot of important things we have to talk about. This is a a global vape show, Amy Relish. So I appreciate your help. All right, let's. Let's get shameless plugs out of the way because we got a lot to cover tonight. Should we, Mark? Do you like that? We ain't got shit to cover. How does it feel that uh, Efan doesn't sponsor this show? I feel kind of—I don't know—like disappointed. Yes. 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 All right. Let's do it. Pre-intro, intro. intro. Mm. That's what it sounded like when I was on the toilet. Uh, they got agenda fans in the chat. There's a lot of agenda fans out there. It's becoming quite popular. Um, you know, there's the, the I got to take a crap feeling like you have stomach cramps and then there's the I actually am sweating and I felt like I don't know if you've ever had stomach cramps to the point where you feel like you're having a heart attack. Have you ever had mm. that? No. No. I was having shortness of breath like it was affecting oxygen in my bloodstream on the toilet at four in the morning. I usually take a shit when that happens. Well, I was trying. I was sitting there waiting, but I had I had like the double grip on the gut thing going. You got to take your pinky and. Stick it in your hole and push up. I don't think so. What the fuck? You Works every time. Yeah, you don't do that. Abushka. All right, let's like continue. A, like a switch to open the door. Is another fucking intro playing? Jesus Christ. Intro get longer? Yeah, three more. Oh my god! Well, we each got our own intro. Ignition. We are live, guys. Live. Live, 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 live. Yeah, it's the vape team. Uh, 185. It's the motherfucking great team. Thursday night, Cloudy Entertainment. We are back. And with me, as always, the man with the master plan, the king of clouds, matchstick man, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the Greek god of modern vaping, the iron lung, king hit that shit. Yeah, it's time for a rebirth. Mikey, motherfucking vapes. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Greg. We also have a very special, 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 special guest. Mr. Bananarama. Mark. The Bruski. Babushka. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah, another show, another week. We are back, and uh, we have an agenda. And tonight, well, I'll give you a little look. Last week's agenda? Huh. This week's agenda? 
Huh. <laughs> so there you go. So I just want to say the COO has not been COOing very well this week. Uh, but Mark's going to be ho ho hoing all night tonight because he's a big oh. fat ho. Oh, oh, oh. Um, why don't we do this? Why don't we break down a little bit of that buffet action? If Mark mentions anything that makes any sense, we're going to give him a prize at the end of the show tonight. So uh, I'm looking forward to some whatchamacallits and so on and so forth. So, Mark, why don't you uh, take you us get, into it? Take us into another, it, Mark. Another intro? Take us home. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. All right. This is the... I think it's the US one. Yeah. Even though I just got it, it's old, but I think it might be new. And I think the RDA is leaking. No, it's not. With the whatever RDA that came came with it. Uh, the new smoke. Uh, this is the stick. What number are they on now? Like 27, 30? 93. 93. Look at the tank. Look at the glass in that tank. Holy that is f- ugly as fuck. I think this looks awesome, but I don't know. When, you, when it tips over, first thing that's going to break is that tank. Yeah, I'm not Anywho. a fan. Oh, I can't. Can I show this yet? Did you see his presentation video yet? No. Uh, so. I got the uh, dual Dabruski with the BTFC on top that I can't show. Uh, How did you know that I changed the name to the dual Dabruski? The Druga, or whatever the fuck they call it, with the... Uh, oh, hold on. The, the Rebirth, or is it Afterbirth? <laughs> The afterbirth is what you're working on. There we go. And then this, uh, what is it called? The carrot. Uh, Gregory Brown, $2, just to interrupt Mark. LOL. You son of a bitch! Every time I'm doing my intro, you're fucking donating money! Oh, is this your intro? I mean, my buffet. I'm sorry. Hmm. He purposely does it every <laughs> time. <laughs> we got some fucking, whatever it's called, uh... <laughs> Corn Yo, I, Brian? Hold on, man. I got coffee in my lungs. Yeah. <coughs> I apologize, Brian everyone. Coffee thinking that was his vape. Are you? <coughs> I just aspirated a whole gulp of coffee. I'm sorry. Candy corn fear from emergency vape stash. Uh, hopefully, Brian doesn't die. We got some more uh, EVS. This is the vanilla custard. And last up is this, uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. It's banana. It's got a stick of butter on it. So there you go. <laughs> Take it away, Miss <clears throat> Take it away, coffee maker. Oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, my God. I went to drink that coffee. <clears throat> a banana. It's got a stick of butter on it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's like simple bottles with simple logos that just say the name of the juice and that's it. Like, simple stuff for simple vapors like Mark. Simple. Yes. Yep. All right, guys. I apologize for that. I uh, was sipping on coffee as if it was hot, but it was cold, and I aspirated it. So, If you guys are going to donate any money, make sure you do it when Brian is doing his buffet. Thank you. Don't donate any money because we don't need it. I appreciate it, but thank you. My banana juice with the stick of butter came from me. It sure did. Thank there, you, Mrs. Relish. There you go, Mark. So at least call it out correctly. It's Amy Relish juice. All right, what am I vaping on? The Orion Pod with, same as always, the Dinner Lady Lemon Tart Nick Salts, 50 milligrams. Oh, hold on. I got a donation uh, from Mr. Steve Bastard. Is that right? Steve, Bastard? Steve's Bastard. Oh, Steve. Oh, that's. <laughs> Tell Steve I'm waiting for my child support. <laughs> One of Steve's kids is in there. Wow. Steve, you saw that? <laughs> Son of a bitch owes child support. Does he hang out with Marcus? Mike, do you know? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been Marcus. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Alexa, call 911. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. All right, guys, I got some seasonal treats this evening. I got the Cloud Chemist Seasonal Science Mocha Peppermint this evening. So the Cloud Chemist Seasonal Science Mocha Peppermint. I also have some of this Cheer Bad Santa. This is like a coffee vape. It's Irish cream coffee. Irish cream coffee. It's called Bad Santa. You can't even see it, but there it is. I'm vaping it right now, and it's really, really good. It's delicious. It's from the company that makes emergency vape stash, My Vape Bar. Hey, did you take the trash out? 
Did I... <laughs> All right. She made a comment in chat. I'm going to interrupt now. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, so I forgot to take the goddamn trash out this week. When's Whatever. trash day? Dude, you have no idea how much trash we've been taking out for months. So much trash. Can we, we get have... through the buffet? And then I'm, tr- I'm, I'm trying the best that I can. All I know is that when I need to take a hit, I want to make sure I have enough power. And with power, yeah, Galici. Okay. There we go. <laughs> a little Galici action. The S35, it keeps your banana hard and it keeps the hits coming. And in that, this is the SQ217, 217, yeah. BTFC, yeah. And I also have a little bit of the toot toot, the Bestia with the Rebirth, which what? I know. Mark, the, why is uh, all right, called Mike, Bestia? he's going in timeout. The the What's the name of that mod? I don't know. I call it the Bestia. It's my Bestia I think, friend. I don't, I don't I thought think, it was, I'm sorry. I don't think it's called the Bestia. Yeah, exactly. It's got a different name. Bestia is the brand. Everyone's calling it the Bestia. And I think people over in wherever he's from are laughing at us. Yep. It's got a weird Italian name to it. That's why we can't remember it. Okay. Well, I, I don't think I could say anything better than it's a fucking amazing and I bought it with my own money so I could say whatever I want about it. It's made by Bestia. And maybe next week I'm going to wear a Bestia t-shirt that I just washed mm-hmm. because it's fucking hot. What does the bottom of yours say? Mine says, it's hard to read it, Mike. Can you read that? If you can get it to focus. Uh, it says Bestia. I think it says Brewski or Bullseye. It says bestia. Mine also says Bestia on the bottom. No, I think it says Bullseye. I have the name of the mod under it. So for hours, it doesn't say the name anywhere. There was no packaging. So obviously, we're going to call it the Bestia. So anyway, go ahead, Brian. Anyway, I... Brian, what are you vaping on tonight? I'll tell you what I'm vaping on, Mark. This time of year, I think about friendship, I think about love, I think about peace, and I think about gifts. The gift that keeps on giving, the Vape Team mod. Okay? (laughs) So, that's exactly what I'm vaping on, Mark. Thanks for interrupting. And on that, I have the Drop Dead. So, there you go. And sadly, somebody feels like they're on the opposite side of things. Ho, ho, ho! Gay for pay! Yep. I'm also vaping on some Gizzard Brew. From Gizzard Stew. There you go. This is the uh, vanilla custard. And anything else? Anything else? Oh, this little Inakin. What is this Inakin tank called? This new Inakin tank? I sub B. I sub B on the. <sighs> I'm feeling like Mark tonight. The double right, barrel version out. 3. Double barrel version 3. There is a battery in here. I am really vaping this at 55 watts or 65 watts. These coils only go up to 55, so I should probably turn that down. 55, there we go. Yep, we're good. Uh, that's what I'm vaping on tonight. Hot, I got some cool coffee, a little bit of the bubbly, and uh, Mike Vapes is going to take us for the next 20 minutes with his beautiful Let's Dive Down buffet. Uh, Bestias from Spain, probably Spain, Italy. It's one of them countries over there, right, Mark? He wouldn't know. He's never left fucking Chicago. Something, oh, something like that. Oh, shout, shout out to uh, Robert Shkreli. Thank you, brother. Love it. This is dope. So, buffet time. <laughs> Bestia 21700 mechanical mod with the Rebirth RDA. Liquid inside this gem is some... Oh, shit. What do I have in there? I forgot. Oh, this stuff here. Juicy Watermelon. Chop Shop Bakery. Also vaping on the iJoy Katana with the iJoy Shogun Univ, I think it's called. There it is. It's the Bestia Fiera. It's made in Spain. Thank you very much, Shane. Yes, the Shogun. Uh, Inside there, we have some Blue Pucker by Tony B. Uh, Speaking of Tony B., we have the his new little project here. I guess the PAL 2. Ooh, look at that little guy. Uh, hey, see, there's the bottom. You guys can see. Hey, Tony B project. Yeah, buddy. Yes, vaping on that right there. Inside here, we have some ghost stick acai berry. For those wondering, acai berry has menthol. It's a little menthol. So vaping on that. Uh, what else? Oh, another rebirth, and I have the Kennedy... Uh, 
21700 Vindicator vaping on that and liquid in there is another one from, oh yeah, I can't even talk another one from Chop Shop Bakery Apple Pie vaping on that and where you be we have the gloom Ultim Gloom with the Citadel shout out shout out what am I saying uh, the, the Citadel liquid where are you there you go. Raspberry Portuguese custard by Nada. Mm. And where is it? Where are you? There we go. We have the, what is this called again, Lauren? Rudder. 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 Engine. And some Galicis inside there. <laughs> Galici. Galici. Uh, oh, wait a minute. One more. We got one more gem to show you guys. One more that I'm vaping on. And we got the dual top side. Also with the profile, RDA. Dude, look how smooth I made that thing. It was very, just That's, really well thought out. It really came out good. I love the way this works. <coughs> it feels good in the hand. It it's not too good. big. It's not too big. No, it's perfect. <laughs> Anything else, Mike? Juices? I think uh, I covered everything. Yeah. Right? Oh, uh... Did I cover? Yeah, I did cover it. Oh, one more. My bad. There we go. Vicious Hand 21700 DNA 75C with the Pixie RDA by Vapefly. Inside here we have, where are you? Where is my black bottle? It's somewhere over here. It's this one here. There we go. Shots the 12 gauge. Inside there. I don't know if I was supposed to shout him out. I was going to shout him out. I don't know if I should. Anyway, I will shout him out. Taron Singh, my man. Thank you for the hookup, brother. I love it. Thank you. There you go. I was going to shout him out during the buffet, and then I decided not to. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to shout him out. I don't know if he wanted me to. But thank you, Taron. Thank you, Taron. Thank, thank you, my man, if you're watching. All right. Um, <clears throat> a couple questions in chat to start off the show. I know there's a lot more than just a couple questions. We'll try to hit them up. I'm thinking about slowing the chat down uh, maybe next week because I, I think the six seconds is a little bit too much, and sometimes it's hard to, for people to keep up with the conversations that are going on. Um, uh, Dilton, uh, Dylan Mixon, yes, there's going to be different rubber band color options for the topside duel, so that'll be coming out soon. Mike hasn't gotten them yet. Yeah. Um, I also want to say that the, everyone's been asking about the black bottles for the top side. And the, the original black bottles that came in are this one right here that I've been using for a couple weeks. It's too dark. I couldn't see the liquid in here. Um, Mitchell Troy the second, I believe, not to be confused with Mitchell Troy the first or junior. Oh, no, that's junior. There you go. Mitchell Talley Jr., $2. So thank you very much for that. Um, but the, the bottles were too dark. And I felt like I couldn't see the juice level, so I'm going with a little bit of a lighter shade. But as soon as they're ready, I'm going to announce it. I'll announce everything. I always announce everything. So if you follow on Instagram or if you follow on the Vape Team group, you'll be able to see what's going on when, when anything gets released. Uh, as far as the top side, uh, Stephen Eagles, 399 Never a bad Thursday with the Vape Team. So thank you, Stephen Eagles, E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. Yeah. Um, there will be a top side dual introduction video before Christmas. Yes. Bring in, I'm going to bring in this holiday season with a little topside dual action, so that's going to be coming up really soon. My, my video will be up uh, tonight, right after the vape team. There you go. We watch Mike's first, learn everything that he has to say, and uh, let me see if I can drink this coffee without sucking into my lungs. Mine's actually up now. You guys could actually leave the show and go watch my video. Thank you. <clears throat> So, Mark, what's going on with you? Uh, I'd like to give a shout-out to... Uh, I'm not sure if I should do this. Where's he at? Uh, Louie's girlfriend? How you doing? Thank you. Go ahead. What is that about? Uh, me and her are kind of hooked up. Does Angela know? Angela's aware of it. Louie's aware of it. We did a trade. Kind of like for a DNA mod. So, we're good. Yeah. He said it was cool. We're good. Cool. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> um, I feel like everything that came in the mail this week... Oh, I wanted to make a correction real quick. Last week, I don't know what this is. 
Amy gets messages now from people that are irate about how we say things on the show. But last week, I guess we had the Broomhild, um, the RDTA type of thing that we talked about from Vapefly, this guy, if you guys remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, we said it wrong. And I guess there's a movie that I love that I didn't know the name was used from, but it was said incorrectly. And she said, apologize <laughs> for saying Broomhilda incorrectly well, last week. What about when they butcher our shit? I don't know. I plenty of times. So we don't go and complain to them. Yeah. Wait, they told you that we have to apologize? I, I don't know. If, well, they don't tell me fucking anything, okay? I'm calling it, the, what is it called? I'm calling it the Brunhide. Yes, it is the... That's the it looks like... I'm calling it the Debruski. Debruski. It looks like Brumhild. Is it Brumhildi? Brumhilda? Brum, Brumhilda. Brumhilda with an E at the end, right? Yeah, Seven thank eight. you, Bill Hubbard. There you go. Appreciate that. Mark, have you vaped on the Brumhilda at all? Um... I've been vaping it non-stop, actually. But something happened. I dropped it. It broke. It rolled into the sewer. And now I don't have one. So. Actually, Marcus is using it right now. Yes. Him and his friends are building it. <laughs> that's that's fucked up. I haven't tried it. <laughs> I didn't know we were supposed to try. Like Mark, okay, let me let me just let me just point something out. You know, are you, are you listening? Well, are you listening? That tank has not touched your lips since last Thursday. Oh, really? Yes. Until now. You tell me you're vaping that thing all week long. Brumhilda. Is is vape fill, is Vapefly a sponsor, Mark? Uh, I can't really see the logo screen, but I believe they are. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, if it's the Braun Strongman, <laughs> he's done. <laughs> Mark, I think you should pay us to be on the show. Uh, we can work on a deal, Pops. By the way, that is a sexy-looking Fragile uh, lamp you have there. Where did you pick that up? Where did you get it? We got Angela bought that at Bed Bath and Beyond. Why are you copying me? I have I've had one like for almost a year now. Do you got one of those? Yeah, dude, Blame you had Angela. it last year on the show. Blame Angela, not me. I had no part in this one. Dude, when you were at Mike's house last year for New Year's, you were actually had your hand on the leg the whole time. <laughs> I don't even remember being there. <laughs> well, you, we have a show that was, that's on that the Steve's vape team. Leg. That was Steve's leg. Oh, was it Steve's leg? Yeah. Yes. <sighs> I don't know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call myself out. So last week during the show, I sat back and I knocked over this beautiful Christmas tree that Amy Relish made, right? Oh, that's good. And, <laughs> well, Mike, why don't you tell the story? Because it's... So anyway, um, I told him he was going to knock it down. And it happened during the show, he knocked it down. But anyway, I think uh, the next day, I, put my, uh, I think I had put my tree together. Or I took a picture of my tree that Amy sent me with the ornaments, took a picture and thanked her. And then she sent me a picture of Brian's on the floor <laughs> the way it was from the night before. <laughs> That's sad. It was like I had a, dr a drunken accident down here in the vape layer. What really happened was some, some weeks, like I go to work all day and I come home and I have to plan for the show because Mark doesn't do anything. And then we have the show and there's all this stuff, I'm getting agendas, I'm getting messages, and then the show ends, and I'm like, you know what, it would be nice to spend some time with Amy after the show before I have to go to sleep, because tomorrow we're gonna be back to work again, we're not gonna see each other. So I left it on the floor after I knocked it over. I felt so bad the next morning when she woke me up, and she she was so hurt. And then she said, but I told Mike, so. I'm curious, when you say like you got a plan for the show, what's all this shit that you have to plan for? Because I, what, explain to me. I'm pretty sure people that are watching would love to know, like, what it takes to run the show. Well, what what it takes to run the show is a behind the scenes type of thing, and I don't okay. think we need to bring it up publicly, but there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes before the show starts, Mark, to prepare. Uh, you wouldn't know anything about that because you wing it every single <laughs> week. Okay? I'm just curious what, <laughs> what goes on behind the scenes. Planning for you is like what snacks you need to put on your table during the show so you don't get hungry. You know what I mean? Because when I came in here an hour before the show, I thought you were sitting here feeding your face, playing on your phone. Yeah, it was called eating a late dinner because I got done work and I was trying to feed myself before the show starts. But I thought you had a plan for the show. I do have a plan for the show. We're, do we're in the middle of it right now. It was to tell the story about the tree falling over. That was one part. It I believe was to... Amy's plan. You're looking at the agenda that she wrote. Do you, okay, I have the agenda right here and there's nothing about that fucking tree on the agenda. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Anything in the mail this week, Mark? Please give us some content. 
I got the... There you go, know, folks. I, Thank you. Mike, anything? This is really old. The US one. I don't know why they sent it again, but they did. <laughs> I got the very interesting looking smoke stick. I don't know. I really like this thing. I know it looks hideous, but I love the way it looks. What else did I get? Uh, oh, Mike, a dollar ninety nine. Mike Vitucci. Brian, thanks for your innovation, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Mike. Thank you. No, thank you. More. I don't know. Uh, that that. What else did I get? Hmm. Look at those fucking I shorts. The, I got the. <laughs> <laughs> I got the iSub B tank, which I've been enjoying. Uh, what else? Did you do? Uh, that's the <laughs> I got the we should give him ten minutes each week to do his content. Uh, what the fuck this thing is? Uh, oh, that's Stephen Eagles, fun. shut up, Mark. We're going to move on to something more important. Oh, okay. Stephen yeah. Eagles, four dollars and ninety nine cents. He said, "Any feelings about the goat?" Well, Mike was in chat uh, on Grimm's live vlog today, and I, you know. We got a chance to see it up close. I was actually watching the show as I was getting ready to eat something. And um, it looks really cool. I mean, I think something that's easy for the masses out there that can get a great vape, never a bad thing. And uh, I definitely think it's something that is, you know, not for the hardcore builders, you know, out there, but it's for the general people that want to get a good vape that's predictable. I don't know how it vapes. I don't know how, what it tastes like, what the airflow feels like, but I like the name. I like the look, so we'll see. That's what I feel. And the price is, what, 36 bucks? So it's affordable, too. Did you just review it? Yes, <laughs> that's my full review. Nice, thank you. Nice. That's yeah. an awesome fucking review. Thank you. <laughs> Thorough. Brian's back, folks. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it's just, I guess you just spin it on there. It's going to be rebuildable. Not rebuildable. Uh, you can replace the cotton on them, obviously. And I think it comes pre-installed with cotton. I, I'm not sure because it didn't show like the build inside there, but uh, I'm hoping it's a space coil at least. In yeah, there. I think he did like a, a mirrored picture of it blown apart, if I remember correctly, on Instagram. And I think I saw a space coil in there. Mm -hmm. I think I did. Yeah, it'll be good for those that don't want to build or someone who wants to like, just mess around. I don't know. Wants a you know who that's good for? There's people that are handicapped. Yep. I know. I know. There's a guy. One of my uh, shout out to Dennis J. He's got a problem where he he can't build because of his his hands. Robert Shkreli, my man. Thank, thank you for the donation. You guys are truly amazing, and we are blessed to have you guys. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Robert. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, baby. Robert, my man. So. And uh, anyway, Dennis J, uh, he had uh, gotten an intake for me, and I did. A, I actually built it for him, you know. And I think I, if I'm not mistaken, did I do two of them? I don't know if I did also the recurve. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. But there's people like him that cannot build; they can't, you know, and they're forced to vape on sub ohm tanks. So this is going to be a great option, you know, for people with disabilities, people that don't want to deal with building uh, for everything. Like that, you know, so. And also, like, say you go to a vape shop and you've been vaping sub ohm tanks for a while, and a new squonk mod comes out that you really want, but you don't want to buy an RDA that that has the ability to squonk because you don't want to have to put coils in, you don't want to have to learn about spacing and wicking and all that kind of stuff. This is a great way to start off getting something that's pre-built, and then you'll be able to re-wick it yourself to teach yourself. So mm -hmm. if if it vapes well, it could be a win. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so surprised since we already had a few RTAs like that. Like, why why they haven't done an RDA like that? Like, why did it take so long for someone to do that? Well, I they did do it. Kangatech did it, and uh, it failed. I think because the RDA was just poorly made. Yeah. The Kangatech. That was a big fail. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a really cool idea. Yeah. yeah, and I think the price point's good. I was expecting it to be more, and it's good. Mark, can I can I hear myself echoing in your speaker? That ain't me. I'll mute. Hold on. Let me talk. One two one two. Yeah, I still hear one two one two, one two. I don't hear myself now. I don't know. We've only had a hundred. I hear myself again. 
Uh, all right. We've only had 185 shows to get this right, so you know we probably need a couple, a couple hundred more, maybe, Mark. Yeah. That would be you or Mike, not me. Um, <clears throat> I knew for a fact that before it was announced, when I heard that it was a replaceable, you know, build deck type of situation with the coil pre-installed with the cotton, I knew it was going to not be for everyone, and there was going to be some pretty, you know, mixed opinions. But I think that it's cool, man. I, I don't have a problem. Whatever people release, the market decides if it's something that's needed, wanted, and enjoyed. So let it release, give it its fair chance, and then we'll see how it is. Yeah, I look oh, forward to trying saying, it. I joy also did it. That's right. I, I joy did it with the SRDA, but that one was terrible. Yeah. Yep. That one was terrible. Plus the the coils that were contact uh, Clapton's, and they had hot spots in there. It made no sense why they they should have been spaced. Though. So yeah. they didn't execute it properly. Well, the success or failure of it will come down 100% to how well those coils are put in there and how well they're actually prepared to be vaped off the bat, just wetting them and vaping. Um, it looks like uh, Ronnie Cash has given us a little advocacy update, $4.99. A small win, but a win just the same. The Suffolk County flavor ban has been tabled for a later date. They tried to force it through the T21 bill. So yeah, there you go. <clears throat> um, I saw, uh, what's his name? Did, the Legion. Uh, who, the one of the Legion guys was there. He was live on uh, Facebook. Yep. I watched that earlier today, and I must tell you, I'm sitting at my desk at work, and I'm watching this, and I'm thinking, I don't know how people can contain the passion that they have and remain professional, because yeah. it's so frustrating. You just want to like grip people up and show them the truth physically, and you can't do shit like that. You got to remain professional. Yeah. The, but, the first thing I thought is like. Wow, that dude cleans up nicely. Yep. Much respect for actually showing up and being involved in advocacy and, and not only letting your mouth do the talking, but let your feet do the walking and, and being a part of the change that we we need. I appreciate that very much. Change. Now it's time for change. Thank you, Mark. Well, I like the way they were shouting. Uh, they were telling them uh, bad parenting. Yep. yep. It's true. They did not like that, but that's what it is. That's what it comes down to. You're all complaining about kids, kids, kids. Be parents. Yep. I mean, there's... You can do anything and everything. There's no way to stop or avoid kids vaping. It's going to happen. Yeah. You, so, they should ask them, why don't you guys, why don't you all protest about cigarettes? Yeah. Why don't you protest about cigarettes then? The kids because, doing that before vaping. Because they're pawns. Was it the flavors of cigarettes? No. Yeah. They can't win that argument. No, They're but to them, the flavors for the kids. Well, before there were no flavors, so what, what's I don't get it. But those parents and those kids are being strategically manipulated by people that are in higher power positions to get an agenda met, and they're just pawns, man. They truly are. Maybe one out of all of them actually knows the deal of what's going on, and the rest of them are just pawns. Yeah. Which you know, the, sucks. you know, and it's weird because the more they make this harder for the kids to get and the more they make like a big deal out of it the more the kids are going to want it of course they probably want to vape even more now than they ever did and the funny part is all those kids that they they brought in with school buses there probably, they probably had no clue about vaping they just put that poison in their head yep. <clears throat> they just they poisoned those kids by doing that yep because you know what curiosity they're going to want to try it now yep yep when I was a kid and my parents would take something away or forbid something, I'm like, hmm, I've got to try that shit. Must kids, be you tell me when you were all kids, did you guys listen to your parents? I did to a point. <laughs> but, Dude, oh. I remember my aunt died of lung cancer at, when I was like probably seven or eight years old. And by the time I was 12, knowing how harmful cigarettes were for her, knowing that that's what killed her, hearing my grandmother always tell me how bad smoking was, I still started smoking. Even though they made me cough, they tasted like shit, the flavor wasn't good. It was just a rite of passage to feel, you know, older than I was to fit in and you know, all that kind of stuff that kids do when they're yep. young. Yeah. So I know that if I was one of those kids online, I would have been to my buddy. No shit. They, they got flavors that we need to try this. Yep. Shit. They and don't if, want us to try it. It must be good. And if you don't think kids are five steps ahead of the parents when it comes to manipulating and getting what they want, you got another thing coming. They know more about the technology. They know, know more how to manipulate to get what they want, and it's going to happen. 
So what we do is we limit entry at the stores. We try to have, you know, common sense things in place to protect, you know, kids having direct access and let them do the backyard you know, in the background stuff. Uh, we just yeah. got four ninety nine from Matt Trevino. Fantastic show. First time getting to watch it live in a while. I always watch and rep- uh, watch the replay. Love you guys. Thanks for making us laugh every week. Brian, that's you echoing. That's where I've seen your comment. That's not me echoing. How am I, okay, how am I echoing when I have headphones on? All right, here, talk and I'll mute. Okay, so I'm talking right now and I'm talking. Okay, I still hear myself. So is it Mike? One, two, one, two, one, two. I think it, I don't know. It's not me. It's not me. I was muted while you were talking, by the way. Oh, were you? I was muted too, so it's you, Brian. Congrats. How is it me? I don't know. It's impossible. Are they saying in the stream they hear it? Yeah. Because nobody's, people are saying they don't hear it, so. You might just be getting some sort of feedback in your headphones. I don't know. I let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, it, it seems like people have an agenda, obviously, and there's so many more important things for them to focus on. But in the end, what's most important for the people that are truly behind this? It's money. Yeah. And when they have a huge amount of money to lose, well, there you go. And suddenly that all those people that were there that were for the kids, they really have no clue. You know, just like what you said earlier, they have no clue about vaping. They don't know nothing about it. They yeah. have no clue. They don't really care if you are a smoker or a vapor. They don't give a shit. You know, they don't give a shit that this is helping people that that want to quit smoking. They just don't care. Well, it always makes certain certain types of people feel good to be the us versus them. And to be, you know, the moral, uh, you know, morally superior to other people, and to point fingers and say them, those people, and uh, people like to always kick smokers when they're down. They like well, to make them out to be the in the wrong. From my experience, usually non-smokers really don't care about smokers. Yep. Like, oh, they don't- they have no interest in helping them. They don't care. They're not a smoker. They just worry about themselves. So. But how many non-smokers have been impacted by somebody in their family that smoked and died from it? Oh, probably everyone. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's not smoke. It's vapor. Donated five dollars. He said they can't stop it. There will always be Ronnie Cashes out there selling to underage kids. There you go. Congrats, Ronnie. You just got ratted out, Ronnie. There we go, Ronnie. Uh, DC says Brian. There is a big echo. Between Mark's ears. No shit. There's going to be a fucking big mushroom head fucking going in and out of your asshole, D uh, fucking DC. <laughs> there's a big echo between his ears and there's a big gap between his legs because we've yeah. seen him in that pink costume. Mark, I had my cock tucked between, under, through my ass cheeks, out my ass. Dude, there, now, first of all. If you turned around in that photo, you would have seen a big mushroom head sticking out of my okay, ass. Okay, I guarantee fucking T you. That your dick does not go between your legs and come out the other side so you can see Mushroom Head. It gets lost halfway between your thighs. I know it. You're right. Stephen Garlington uh, donated $9.99. He said, where are these advocates when it comes to flavors for alcohol and cigarillos? You can't blame flavors or products. It comes down to personal responsibility and parenting. Yep. Not when money and uh, big pharma money, big uh, tobacco money and state state needing tax revenue comes into play. So I don't know. I'm not going to fully blame the parents. I'm going to blame the kids probably more than the parents. You can't parent your kid when he's fucking not in front of you. Like, I don't know. There's, uh, I think the, the more and more we make it a big ordeal, the more and more the kids are going to want to try it. Now, do I think that schools should have uh, a little seminar to teach kids that they shouldn't vape? Sure, I don't have a problem with that. I think that there should be Things in place to teach kids at a young age about, you know, all tobacco products, including, you know, vapor products. I think there should be limits on laws to protect uh, kids from not having access, walking in a store and buying these products. I don't think we should promote to kids. We all agree with all these things already. We already had most of this that was already in action to begin with. And Anthony Basie gave five bucks. He said, nobody cares that the bottom line is it's healthier. Hashtag hit that juice. So there you go. Yep. I do. Uh, yeah. Anyway, people are asking in chat about this here. There you go. Yes. Uh, someone asked how long are the coils lasting. I have no clue. Just got it today. So not sure how long the coil is going to last. 
If Mark was a no. if Mark was a UFC fighter, his name would be Mark Camelto Fagan. Go ahead. This is where you fill it. <laughs> Push down. This is kind of a pain in the ass getting this pod out. There you go. There's the pod. Airflow control and replaceable coil. How big is that battery? Like, is that a big device? Uh, oh, huge. I don't know. Okay, I'll put it next to the the router. Router. Hmm. Do you have a billet box, Mike? No. It, it reminds me a lot of a billet box. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. It has that that. Now that. I have something else from uh, artery. Where is it? There you go. This is a different one here. This one reminds ah. me of the billet box. This is the artery pro, or no, the one pro. One Pro. This one has a 510 drip tip. And this one here, it's a coil inside. See it? Ah. So wait. And to, to fill it, there's a little, there's a plastic here. I push this plastic down. There's a little slit. You can't really see it right now because of the light. There's a slit where I stick the bottle in and fill. Did Tony create that one too? No. So, I'll, uh, okay, so yeah, I just... But this is this is the PAL version too. Uh, PAL was similar to this. This is a different style, I guess. But that this one uses drip one tips, though, Pro. right? The One Pro though feels more quality. This thing here, but the airflow on this sucks. Mm. Yeah. That kind What's of that? Sucks. That's a signature tips, uh, five ten carbon fiber. How how does the uh, the PAL version two vape compare to like say the Orion? Airflow wise, flavor wise, it's the same uh, situation going on with this. Where you have to, if you want that tight airflow, you got to like almost have it closed off on the airflow, and that's what I have it right now, and it feels loose. I mean, it's all right. It's actually pretty good, to tell you. I wish I had a that little bit more of a restrictive vape, you know? Yeah. But still, it's it's right in that ballpark with the airflow where I have it cut off, where it's acceptable for me. There's other ones that are just too much, like the what's that me one? Yeah, mm-hmm. the, the me that one. That me one is like so much airflow. Too much. I, for me, that's not. A, I don't consider that. A, a lot of people love that thing, though. I love that. Well, I I had one. I think it was horrible. It does get a lot of airflow, though. You're right. Yeah. Uh, somebody uh, asked if I was working on a top side which takes two twenty one seven hundred batteries. Uh, the answer to that question is, um, ever for a while, I've been working on top different top sides for different reasons, and the the dual twenty one seven hundred at as of now has been too big, too heavy, and I mean I'm getting two hundred and twenty pulls off of the top side dual with eighteen six fifties at a hundred watts. So the battery life's tremendous. And um, it's small enough that it can fit in your hand. And the 21700s were just too heavy and too big. Will I say that there'll never be a dual 21700 version? Who knows? I mean, if the, if the dual 18650 is super popular and there's a huge demand for it, anything is possible. But as of right now, the topside dual is the one that I'm working on. It's the one that's in the, in the pipeline to come out within the next couple weeks. All right, let's see it. Yep. Bring it out. <clears throat> and for those that think that they want a dual 21700, all I'm saying is you might, but I don't. And I can only put out on the market what I think is uh, is the right thing for the peoples. I think it'll be too big. Too big. I think 21700s, if you're going to do it, the mod's got to be extremely small. Yeah. But then you're on a mod like, uh, for example, a squonk mod, you, you got to add then the bottle. Yep. And it just makes it too big. The only way it would work, Mike, is if I went with an unregulated type setup with dual 21700s and yes. a spunk. And that's then it would work. I was going to say for unregulated, something that's a, a parallel or a series, something like that, those, fine. So could there be a top side like that? Definitely. But will it be a regulated like this? No. Yep. Uh, thank you, DC, but I am not a character. Thank you. Yeah. I, Guys, you got to understand something. Dual eighteen six fifties on any on stuff is awesome battery life. Awesome battery. Always life. been. I mean, back in the day, did we all complain? We all complain. Dual eighteen six fifty. We want that for our mods instead of single batteries because of battery life. So there shouldn't be complaints now. There's no difference from then to now. Yep. So, 
not to be the asshole here, but if you're complaining about weight, why not just make a dual 21700 and just put the 18650 battery adapters in there? Wouldn't that lighten it up a little bit or no? Because it wasn't just about weight. It was about size. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was about size fitting in your pocket, comfort in your hand, and also height. It'll be big. It's yeah, gonna be it's problem. gonna be one big bitch. Let me tell you that. With twenty one seven hundred. But the good news is, guys, and and everyone's free to have their opinions because I get it. I get there's some people that want that, and I don't. I'm not upset with you at all. I, I completely understand, but I don't blindly just design something and not try every possible battery configuration without testing it first. So I held a dual twenty one seven hundred in my hand. I held the eighteen six fifty in my hand. Uh, I knew what the shapes were. I designed multiple different shapes for the mod, and I picked the best one. So. And if you don't trust that, then you don't have to buy it. It's a free market. Yep. So. Yep. Is it a free market? It's a free market. Thank you. Yep. Look at this time. Time flies. I can't believe it. 1045. 1045. Mark's still alive. So we have, what do you uh, got anything, uh, Ryan? No? A, a couple of things I can't show. Um... I was dealing with a lot of a lot of late late in the game topside dual stuff this week. Uh, I, I did get the new Inakin sub tank, the I sub B, I guess it's called. Is that what it is? Thoughts? Mm -hmm. um, thoughts so far? I don't know. It's another mesh sub -um tank. <laughs> you know, oh, easy, easy. I'm vaping it at 55 watts. Um, it ha Inakin better quality build quality feel than the original I sub in my opinion. I think it feels like the metals are more solid and a little bit more bulky. Um, it looks good. Um, the top feels a little interesting because the glass is actually like connected to the mod. So when you go to unscrew the top part, it like has this spring situation and then it sort of pops up, which, you know, it's a couple spins and then it pops off. And then you got to screw this back down again into the coil head. So that's sort of how it locks in there. Um, if you were to knock the glass when you were trying to refill it, the glass would actually come off. It's sort of press fit. That's the only real con I can see from checking it out right now. But other than that, it seems, it seems nice quality. Why didn't you just make it like a slide open top fill or a spin open top fill? Or I feel like they kind of, I feel like they forgot to put the top fill on there at the very end. And they said, oh shit, we forgot the top fill. They're like, all right, just, it doesn't matter. Just unscrew the top. Uh, Shane Moore just gave two dollars. He said, "Best dual battery mod out right now." Uh, it's gonna be there's no such thing. Yeah, yeah. There's so many good ones. There's no, no such thing. That question cannot be answered. Yep. The best thing to do is uh, just watch. Uh, be subscribed to a lot of channels, and watch like the best of 2018 videos and see what uh, different reviewers say their favorites were they're not really the best to everyone else or the best that's our opinions on what we like the best you know so something to answer that what's the best my best could be is different than brian's best will be different than mark's there is really no best yeah the best the best best best, best. exactly hugh it's subjective you can't it's hard. Times like that, there's I, a lot of good ones. Here's it, like this one. This one here. This uh, rudder. I hate the name of it. It's the stupidest name ever, in my opinion, for a mod. But this mod is awesome. Yep. This actually a late mod. I've, I've been all year long since the Proton came out. This is mod of the year, in my opinion. This one here. And till uh, a little over a week ago, Proton was still up cool. there. There was nothing else that really stood out to me to being great yeah. in my what I for my style. Then this came out, and this entered in there, and then this came out. I love this one, the Shogun. This thing is awesome. Mark, do you just have your fucking pants off? Yes. Thank you. See, my issue is when I go to fill this, I can't just turn it. I gotta actually hold it. That, that's this, what you're supposed to do with all tanks. That's the way I do it. You ha you hold your tank when you unscrew the top. Well, usually you just slide it open or just spin it open. 
But when you hold this, you got to hold it like you can't wait, hold wait, it. Wait, 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 I'm confused. If you're unscrewing a top fill on a tank, you just no, 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 not top fill. Do this, not top fill, like the what you call it right here, the smoke one where it has a spin open little feature. Yeah, that's, a, that's just like a slider thing. We're talking about unscrewing a top fill. Don't you hold your tank? Well, no, he doesn't, Mike. <laughs> there's a. It, this one's different though because if you hold it, like right now I'm holding it, and I'm spinning it, but the tank is unscrewing. So right. I have to hold it by the. Hold, you're supposed to hold your tank and unscrew. Yeah, it. but no matter how loose I keep it, I don't know. It just, it's messy and it doesn't. It just seems like I don't know. It's weird. It's almost like they forgot to put top fill in there and they just, I don't know. It's a nice tank. Don't get me wrong. Great vape, good flavor. Just the, the fill is funny. You get so spoiled with all these other easy fill top fill systems, and then you get something like this, and it's like he's entitled yeah. to his opinion. Of course. Well, I, I'm not disagreeing on one thing. The top fill, I think, in my in my opinion, is stupid the way they did it. Yeah. But uh, there's no issues taking the cap off. I think it's just stupid that there is no. It's just fully open like that. It's not secure. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus, in the background playing Fortnite. Marcus! Shut up! Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Parenting 101. I got a good one here. Yes. Actually, no, I don't even want to talk about this. Oh, come on! Nope. What is it? How the hell did you bring it up and not say you're going to talk about it? Everyone's curious now. Mike? No? None. Ah. Uh, can we get a hint? I was just joking. It was nothing. <laughs> uh, let's see. I do want to say this juice, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> what do you call it from uh, Emergency Vape Stash? The Irish cream? about the stick of butter? No, the Irish cream one is fucking spectacular. The Bad Santa, you mean? It, yeah, is it called Bad Santa? Oh, man, it's fucking good. Bad Santa? Cheer. Like Irish cream coffee. Isn't there a uh, uh, coupon code for emergency vape stash for, I think it's Wise, Vape Wives 25 maybe, for 25% uh, off? I have no clue. Why don't you yell to Angela and ask her? Angela! There you go. I love that. Oh, we could talk about this, though. For I guess because this did happen on the vape team page. Yes. And this is the vape team, well, the vape team page on Facebook. This is the vape team show. Yeah. So we're going to talk about this. Uh, yesterday, someone posted a picture of uh, that they had the Rebirth RTA. So uh, woo, I went cuckoo when I saw that. Anyway, come to find out what happened was Hell Vape was in the States. This was when were they here? When they were in the States. This was a, it was months ago. Yeah. When they were here. September, maybe? To, uh, Midwest Vape Distributions. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they're in they're in Illinois, right? Midwest vape. Anyway, they were there, and Hell Vape showed uh, the first they the first prototype of the RTA to Midwest Midwest, telling them a future project coming out. You know, Rebirth RTA. So Midwest asked the, asked the Hell Vape, "Can we have the tank?" I guess whoever she showed it to is an RTA person and wanted to try it out and vape it. So she gave it to them in trust, you know, gave them the tank, which when she told me this, hell vape, I, I flipped. I was like, why would you even give it to them? But anyway, um, they misplaced the tank and put it with a bunch of other tanks by mistake. And I think they own a vape shop. And those tanks went to to the vape shop somehow. I don't know how it ended up in this vape shop. And they went inside a drawer. And the guy that worked in the vape shop went in the drawer looking at the tanks and saw the RTA. And I was like, what the fuck? And I guess posted pictures of it on Facebook. So that's how it all happened. I talked to the guy. He proved he had it. At first, I thought it would, they were just pictures that I don't know how he would have gotten the pictures, but he would have gotten maybe maybe Hell Vape was showing pictures to a distributor and he had the pictures. So that's like uh, the most. He actually proved it to me. He had the tank. I talked to him on the phone, and he told me he wouldn't show the build deck. Either. What are the chances of he that happening? 
I know it's it, such an odd story. It is, isn't it? Fucking crazy. I mean, it's I've like, had. I, I remember when like Watofo was here a year ago after like Christmas, and like if like Mike's working on a project and they have samples, they might give me samples of Mike's project for me to test because Mike told them to. Like that kind of shit happens, but you yeah. would never share it publicly and take pictures of it and put it out there. Right. That's it's what I'm saying. Why would hell they give a prototype to somebody? I don't like, know. They gave it to a distributor. They're one of the biggest distributors in the States. Still, I would think that's kind of... Yeah, crazy. I know they shouldn't have gave it to them because that wasn't... I mean, that it wasn't, wasn't even it, the one that's being released. So you're giving them something that's not going to be... That's not the finished product. Yep. So hopefully they understand the seriousness of this mistake and they learn from it. I know that you said that, uh, you know, Hellvape was working on making it right, so... Sucks. Yep. Sucks. I got a less crazier story. My wife. <laughs> Here we go. The hospital. Well, it's actually, that's a, that's a normal story. But oh, okay, go I ahead. hired some new chick there, and I guess her and the new girl were talking, and she told the new girl, like, you know, what I do. And she's like, oh, my God, are you serious? My husband loves that guy. And <laughs> apparently the new girl's husband watches us, and then funny thing is he's like can you do me a favor can you give him some juice from the vape shop i work at the tryout <laughs> yeah so that uh yeah yeah well, do we get you but i don't know his name but he might be watching so thank you for the juice he probably is watching is it juice that they make yeah it's a it's a house juice house juice do you want to give him a shout out like for real i don't know his name and I haven't tried the juice yet, so I don't want to shout out the juice. What if it tastes like shit? Uh, well, that's why when you get a gift, you try it and you test it before the show, and then you get his name and you shout him out if it's good. Oh, that's too much work. It's just going to sit in that fucking bag. And, uh, by the way, guy that works, my wife works in the hospital, this is the most closest you're going to get to a legitimate shout out. So <laughs> much no, love to you. I will try the juice eventually. I'll try I mean, it. No, you're not going to. You're not. I will try it. It's not going to happen. I will try it. It will be tried, and if it's good, I will promoted on my naked body all right i'll pour it over my testicles all right so how long before you have that like a couple's date night with the lady from work and, and this dude coming over your house to grab all your shit does <laughs> okay, he know that he can come in right now exactly yo try the juice right now mark i don't i don't think i have anything uh, Leo Barry said, I found a topside duel in Mark's garbage. I have picked. Seriously, though, thanks for the show. <laughs> I actually sent out photos. People were sending me 10 bucks, and I was sending out photos of the duel topside. Much love, Leo. Thank you. There's a condom in here, too, for some reason. I'm not sure if that's a sign. There's a bunch of different juices in here. The weird thing is, the name of the juice is called Dirty. Is Cherry, lemon, something. Yeah, just say dirty. I don't know. I'm going to try it. And... Try it right now. I don't have nothing to try it on. I don't want to mix it with another juice I have. I already got banana and I got custard going on and I don't want to mix it with All a... right. Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, you got to have one of the juices. Yeah. Sunday's the day. <sighs> Thanks, man. Oh, man. What a week. Yep. I have like a semi erection right now. All right, guys. Well, the <laughs> coupon code for my vape bar uh, for the cheer, which was the bad Santa, is wives25. So there you go. Uh, Amy also says go to hit that juice for all your vaping needs. And uh, XO, XO to TVC. So she sent me a little bit of love. And we're also going to announce the winner because I know everybody's actually holding on in chat for this. Ah. Uh. Oh, can I interrupt you a second? You sure can. What's going on with the after show? I see a lot of comments the same in the in the video. Like last week's show, if you go in the comment section, mm -hmm. there's like hundreds of people timing, typing Amy sent me. That was for this giveaway. Oh, I didn't even know there was a giveaway. Yeah, there's a giveaway. Donation from Michael Blem. Uh, Amen, Amy, and a little Christmas cheer. $20 donation. Well, you're going to get all the Christmas cheer you can handle. Because this is the giveaway for. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the Christmas Dude. ornament and banana. 
Banana, yeah. So you get a banana and you get a Christmas ornament. And I am going to be extremely generous. And I'm going to include in the package a top side. So there oh, you go. Oh, a new one? A duel? Uh, no, the original top side. Son of a bitch. Yep. So whoever wins gets a top side, gets the ornament, and gets a banana. So, Mark, why don't you go in the replay from last week into the chat and pick a winner? All right. Uh, by the way, the dude's last name is Russell, so apparently Ryan Adams is not the guy. Thank you. So it's Ryan Russell? No, I asked Angela. She said his last name is Russell. So whoever's in chat saying it's him, I don't think it's him. But who knows? Anywho, all right, for the last week's show. Ta-da! Everybody wants it now. I want it now. Yep. Oh, I wish you would tell me these things like before the show. This planning thing that you apparently do would have been nice. If you would have planned to tell me that we're doing this, then I would have been kind of prepared. But since we're not, now we're going to have to wait. To random comment picker. Arr, wait, that's not it. Let's try it again. That's not it. Where the fuck's. Oh my God, where's she? Go? There she is. All right. Are we picking a number? We're ready. Nope, we're doing randomizer, right? Yeah, for randomizer for the comments. comments, yep. All right, motherfuckers, here we go. 184 comments from last week's show, and the winner is... Ba, 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 ba. Henry, I want to say Bronson, but it's probably Branson. B-R-A-N-S-O-N. Branson, Henry Branson. Uh, his comment was, tell them Amy sent you. Well, there you go. So you need to contact The Vapor Chronicles on Facebook Messenger, and you need to give me your name, your address, your telephone number, and your email address, and I'm going to forward that to Amy, and she's going to send you the winnings. So there you go. Uh, by so the way, congratulations. I got a message from Amy. She told me the, the idea of the top side being included was her idea. Thank you, Amy. Anyway. You should throw in a Gleasy battery, too. Maybe like a drop RDA, maybe a drop solo. Mark, if you were involved talking to all the sponsors on the show, if you were involved in planning the show, if you were involved with fucking anything, then you'd have a say in this. But since you're not, you can't just sit on the sideline pulling on your fucking banana and talking shit. You do not talk to the sponsors. Oh, who does? What do you say to them when you talk to them? Not what you do when you bring them on a live show and try to talk to them, I'll tell you that. I can already see the conversation. All right. You know, let's do some giveaways, Mike. Do you want to give away some rebirths tonight from Hell Vape? I think that sounds like a good idea. I think it's a great idea. Shall we do that, Mike? Yes. Let's do it. All right. First of all, I would like to thank our sponsors for this show. Uh, Hell Vape, I apologize for Mark. Um, Vapefly, I apologize for Mark. And Galisi, I apologize for Mark. But thank you for sponsoring the show. Yes. And also hit that juice.com for all your vaping needs. Mike, pick a number. We're going to give away, I don't know, through Hell Vape for you, the Rebirth Baby. Oh, yeah. We're giving away, we're going to give away tonight uh, a Hell Beast sub ohm tank. Ooh. And uh, are we doing it together? What happened last time? We did a giveaway, right? Didn't we give both? Yep. Was it okay with her? Uh, yeah. So we'll do the same thing again. We're going to give away the one winner is going to get a, a Rebirth RDA and the new Hell Beast sub -ohm tank. Yeah, buddy. You got the chat ready, randomizer or whatever you call it ready? Uh, I'm ready that? to roll. All right. Steve, thoughts? Nothing? All right. 23. Holy shit. Here we go. 23, folks. Two to the three. Winner is nobody. Let's do it again. 23. Oh, we got a winner. And I cannot say this name, but we're going to give it a shot. Cedada? Cedada. Cedada. C-E-A-D-D-A. Say it. Pronounce it. Cedada. Cedada. Congratulations. That's it? The Cedada? Cedada. Is Sida in the chat? I hope so. Sida, you in chat? 
I want to see you, Sita. I want to see you, baby. When did you pull up this randomizer? Show me that. <laughs> Probably from last turn. week's show. Hey, I when did you pull this? Right before you said, Mark, are you ready? I waited till all the X ones started flying. Uh, let's see. Do we see a Sita? Sita, Sita. Sita, Sita. I see Charlie. I see Get Buck. I see Sick Boy, DC, David, Lawless, Phoenix, Jessica, H Town, Larry, Alex, Candy, Foggett, Robert, Monty, Philly, Kata, whatever. Uh, Sita is in chat. Okay, so Sita, contact uh, Brian. Brian, you got this, right? Yeah, I got this. Yes. Yeah, you don't have to do it that quickly, but whenever you get a chance, message me on Facebook Messenger, please. You already did it? Yeah. Damn, boy, you quick, son! Um, I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Anything else, Brian? Um, you seem just, deep in thought. You all right? Yeah, I'm just processing, making sure I didn't miss anything on the agenda. And I also felt like I was getting a little bit warm. And I'm wondering if I'm going to get another fucking toilet fever going tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I hate toilet fever. Toilet fever. It's the worst. Because you're always like, it's always like four in the morning. And you're still half asleep and not thinking clearly. And you're just sitting there wondering if this is the end. You know? Dude, I took a shit last week, and it came out like soft serve ice cream. And what was cool is like it filled up the entire like hole in the bottom of the toilet. Did it peek it, through the water? No, but it formed like a pile. Yeah, that's the best. But I've had them come out of the water. <laughs> like, seriously, it's like dry shit out of the water. <laughs> it's amazing. Like I almost think it wasn't gonna go down. It was, it was a big muddy mess. I bet you. All right, guys. Well, there's going to be more Muddy Mess next week on the Vape Team. So uh, we hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Have an awesome week. And uh, nothing but vape love to you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Dobruski. Dobruski. I want you to make love to me. Thank you, Mark. Dobruski. 20 minute outro begins now. I want you to kiss me. Outnition. Out <laughs> Do you like to kiss the kitty? to come on my ass. Kukushki. DC, you fucking cocksucker. I'm gonna stab you with my little fucking pencil dick. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Laugh at my ass. Who was that yelling at Mark? <laughs> <laughs>